but just know that I have this plugged in safely with a power strip here. So in case I trip anything, it trips here at the switch and doesn't set off my breaker or better yet, light my hair on fire. Fryer, what, fry my hair? What up, techies and gamers? It's your boy, Jermaine with Tech Toys and Gaming, the channel where you get your daily dose of tech entertainment, a little bit of technology, some laughter, as well as some technology information, tech tips, and tricks. And in today's video, for all my wonderful techies and gamers out there in the world, uh, I have something that is for your studio. It's not necessarily for gaming itself, but it can be for your gaming environment. And I can't seem to get away from it. It's RGB, right? RGB lighting for your light, for your, for your light, what? The Lumery Recessed RGB lights for your, for your ceiling. This is something that will in fact have to go into your ceiling to really make your room any color you want at any time with these lights, any temperature, any brightness setting. These lights can actually be controlled with Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant. That's right, you heard it from me first. That's not true, what? All right, tickets and gamers, enough talking. Let's go ahead and do the unboxing, see what we get in this box and see if it's worth doing such a big upgrade. Let's go tickets and gamers, let's see what's going on. And here we are with the Lumery Wibble Lights 4-pack, four 4-inch four recess RGB lights. Now, these do also come in six inch. These particular ones are the swivel type and they also are the type that come with its own electrical box. So these particular ones will need to be hardwired in your ceiling. So all you techies and handymen out there, get ready to get your hands dirty, do a little bit of wiring. And I said I was gonna stop talking, so let's stop talking. Unbox! So once you crack this box open, you will see that it comes in a pack of or obviously there are other packs. You can get the packs of six, eight, 24. There's one missing. So that one I already have set up for demonstration purposes, but you get four uh, lights in a box, cardboard for cutting out the specific hole size you would need to mount these lights in your ceilings. Get a hole cutter and you would use this as a template to create the hole in your ceiling so that it fits perfectly with these particular lights. So kind of handy and nice of them to provide that and a full set of instructions on how to actually install the lights in your ceiling as well as to set them up with the Lumery app. You'll see that you just get the light itself and you'll see that by turning it, there is that swivel ability, techies and gamers, and it simply connects through this actual cable here and I'll show you in a second what it connects to. Here on the sides, these little ears, these are the things that are gonna hold it in place once you tuck it up in your ceiling, right? So it's gonna go ahead and clamp itself and lock itself ah, to probably your sheetrock. And with that, you have your electrical box. This is the other end of the cable that you will essentially connect your lighting to. Now, it can only go in one way. There is an actual, uh, I guess, some kind of plastic thing that makes you align it properly so you don't plug it in the wrong way. Simple thing to just plug in and connect it as such. And it actually has a lock plastic nut here with a little uh, tread here. You can actually screw it on so that this thing is completely locked into place. Now, when we open up the actual electrical box here, things fall out. Of course, you have your wire ties right here. This is gonna connect your cabling and you have some screws for mounting. You have your neutral and you have your hot wire. Black being the hot, white being neutral. This is the essential cabling you will need to connect to the cabling in your ceiling once you remove your old crusty lights that do nothing but light up. All right, taking the game. So right now on my table, I actually have a light already all set up and ready to go. You're probably wondering how did I connect this right here on my table since these lights have to be hardwired to your ceiling. There is no actual power cable or plug. Anyway, to plug this in, I don't really want to show you because I don't want any of you imaginative techies and gamers out there in the world to try this at home because I don't want to be responsible for anyone or enticing anyone to try and do this 
and start a fire or some craziness, right? So we'll leave that to your Googles, right? Get your Googles on and figure that out for yourselves. But just know that I have this plugged in safely with a power strip here. So in case I trip anything, it trips here at the switch and doesn't set off my breaker or better yet, light my hair on fryer. Fryer, what, fry my hair? Now, a big part of these lights is that you will have to set them up with the Lumery app. It's not just your ordinary app where you just launch it and start adding devices. This one, you actually have to register with an email, right? So if that's not your thing, bypass this and go throw your iPhone out the window. What? Now I have already went ahead and downloaded the Lumery app, created an account and I am logged into it and ready to go and ready to add devices to my app, to my home. And once you get all set up, you are on this blank page on your app that shows that there are no devices and where you are to add a device. The first bit of business is to actually have your light on and in a ready to sync or pair mode, right? And the way that looks is like this. Let's turn it on. Once you turn your lights on, now this is not the best position to have the light. Looking at the app now, I see at the discovering area, uh, it discovered my device already off the top, not having to do anything. I simply just have to click add. It sees it, let's uh, location, let's set now. Uh, let's click allow while using the app, I suppose. Uh, connect to your Wi-Fi. Now you want to be sure that you actually have a dual band router because this actually has to be connected to a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi connection, right? So once it syncs, it's going to light up nice and bright in your face. Maybe I should turn off one of these lights because this thing is beaming in my face. And once it synchronizes, which it's synchronized very fast, you're already connected and you are in a solid white state. Hi, right, Techies Gamers, here we are with these lights beaming bright at 100%. I have just turned them to a warm color as you can see here in my app, right? And you can pretty much, oh, swiping to the left you get into your color spectrum, swiping left and right, you can transition between your color temperatures, bright white or warm color, and then you swipe to the left. These are the colors. Now I notice when I swipe, it automatically changes the colors to the specific mode I'm in. So if I swipe over to the left, it goes to my warm temperature, swipe back, it goes to my colors here, Techies and Gamers. You have scene modes, so you can actually dial in to a specific scene and there are wow there are a lot of different scene modes here to play with we have music mode techies and gamers so by clicking start click okay allow the mic clicking start this will basically react to noise this will react to sound so if there is a movie playing music it will bump to the music beats kind of snazzy if you're into that kind of thing. If you're having a party, this would be a great ideal option. And in the settings tab on the Lumeria app, there are a number of options for scheduling timers for the lights to turn on and off, power on behavior. That essentially means that if you were to lose power in your house, for example, and your lights went out or you turn the switch off and you turn it back on some other time, I've done that by mistake and the lights start to flash again, they will retain the last settings that you have set. It will also retain your schedule so you can manage the power on behavior as such. There is the restore memory. So it basically restores the memory of whatever your last setting was. And then there is a customized option for you to do. Um, I probably would just click restore memory. All right, take it to gamers. And in my final analysis with these particular lights, with regards to the way the lights operate, the light brightness, the colors, functionality with the app, the options, all of these things are really good. Pro number one, the options for the lights are endless. There's just so much stuff I can do with this between setting scenes like the way I have it set up now, colors, dimness, uh, setting it up with sound and music, scheduling, right? Being able to schedule your lights to turn on at a specific time, turn off geo scheduling it right scheduling is when you get close to the house it knows to turn itself on you know so that kind of gives you like a little security feature if you leave the house lights turn on at specific times so people think you're home right so kind of 
pool people, but not really security. All of those things are really good. And this app is actually quite nice. I use a lot of RGB lights and a lot of the apps are very similar. The Lumery app, I feel is a little bit more advanced. There's a lot of stuff going on in this app. I feel like they took some of the best features of a lot of these apps out there that control your home lights and RGB things and your security things and all in one place right here. Only downside I will say is that you have to actually register, right? Your email to be able to use the app. Another pro of these lights is that they're pretty bright. So the brightness is great. The colors are great. Um, what you get in the box is great. And I like the fact that it has a memory restore kind of function. You lose power, it comes back up. You have options to set it to remember the last setting you had. You have an option to start up at a specific setting you want every time it goes down. Some of the cons. Now, I guess the only one con I would say is that if you have recess lighting already set up in your home the way I do, and you have the standard bulbs that go into a lighting can right these will not fit in the can my cans are somewhat deep but um this these lights have to make their way into your ceiling to connect to the hard wiring because it comes with that electrical box and just there's just no electrical wiring or cabling coming through your cans so uh the con is you would have to take your can out completely and install this and push the electrical box up in your ceiling, screw it down, hardwire it, and kind of set up in like a permanent sort of way, permanent basis, so to say. That's my biggest gripe really with this is that I have to do a whole entire operation. And if I have 10, 15 lights that I wanna switch out in a few rooms, right? It's gonna entail quite a lot of work. It could be a big con or it may not be a big thing for all you handy men out there and techies and gamers who love wires. Why would you love wires? I don't know, I love wires. But if you are looking for other ways to actually light up your home, such as strip lights like I have here in the back, check the link right there. That'll take you to an actual strip light that I reviewed, which is those right behind me. And you can get a look at how cool those actually are. All right, techies and gamers, and with that, I'll see you in my next video. Later.